Yo, 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 Lyle. My block was the hottest, I was the coldest. Souls frozen, streets ferocious. So much pain in my life, I couldn't hold it. So I wrote it, so you could quote it. While I smoke this, look in the eyes of the hopeless. It's hard to stay focused. No, we got a gift, but do we give a shit? Even though it's nothing for this kid to drop a hit. You chasing dreams, this what it seems. It's just an illusion, cause he out here catching fiends. Cause if this rap shit don't pay, I'ma start selling drugs around my way. Hey, this is attitude, gift of life, no gratitude. Disrespect to the highest magnitude. Continue to sway, he for sure to lose. This the jungle, it ain't no rules. Let him slide, he becomes fool. You couldn't bring him back if you want to. Now you know what to. Peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. Y'all know what it is. Man, let's talk about this whole Keefy D thing, man. I'm going to keep on with it. Um, we all know Keefy D was the only person alive. Is the, is the only person alive that was in that vehicle. Supposedly that killed Tupac Shakur, right? And he said he passed the gun to his nephew. First, he said he passed the gun to the other dude in the car. I don't know if his name was Big Trey or Trey or something like that. But the big red dude that was in the car. And he said the kid didn't want to shoot. So he gave the gun to his nephew. The one that got beat up. The one that had his arm in an arm sling. Because he went to the hospital after he got beat up. So with his arm in an arm sling. All beat up. He was still able to shoot and kill Tupac Shakur and shoot Shug Knight. Yeah. So... And it just coincidentally, when he dies, he gets killed. They go to his house. Why? Why do they go to his house and dig up in the yard after he got killed? Why? And find the gun, 40 caliber Glock, that allegedly killed Tupac. Goes into evidence and then gets stolen out the evidence room. Right. Now, the people that was in the car behind Tupac said they seen a big arm. Orlando Anderson's nephew is skinny, small. They said they seen a big arm come out and that was an arm shooting a big red arm. Keefy D ain't gonna happen. What I understand of what from what I I know of him, I don't know him personally, but from what I know from studying and and analyzing what everybody talks about him and says about him is that he would not have somebody around him that was not gonna put in no work and not and say no, no, nah, I don't wanna shoot. He was not gonna have that type of people around him. Now this is what I want to ask y'all. Y'all beat me up in the comments and let me know what you think. There's still somebody involved in this that still can go to jail. Because Keefy D not only was saying he was in the car with these people when they shot up Tupac, Keefy D was also saying that he went to a party and P. Diddy pulled him aside. You know, and they was trying to take care of Shiv Knight. And uh, also Tupac's name came up. You know what I mean? So, basically, saying P. Diddy put out a hit on uh, on Shug Knight and on Pop. Using them, the Crips. Because they was using the Crips for protection. So, um, and it's just, at this time, Keefy D was a boss. Keefy D was moving 400, 500 kilos a month. And he was under the radar, whoop de whoop And what happens, he, he gets up with P. Diddy and he gets caught up in this whole situation with the Biggie Smalls Pac thing. Now, supposedly, P. Diddy, the one that put that hit out and was paying them to go at Suge Knight and Pop. So P. Diddy all of a sudden starts giving away his masters back to all his artists and all that stuff that was that he had signed with him and all that. The only person, Keefy D, because you know Keefy D got caught in California and uh, on some drug charges and they gave him immunity. I couldn't remember the word yesterday. Um... But his immunity, somebody came in the comments and told me, uh, Blue, Blue, uh, I forgot the name, man, Blue, but you know who you are, man, good looking out. Um, 
they was like immunity is the word you're looking for i couldn't remember it for nothing yesterday but immunity they gave him immunity right in california and he for him to confess his part of what happened with the whole tupac murder going with that drug case so he has cooperated before now do you think keefe d is going to cooperate now because remember keefe d just went on, on all these platforms and he was saying yo p diddy should give me some money p diddy owes me i've saved his life like and, and i was doing good until i met p diddy now i'm doing bad all because of this whole situation with Pac and Big and all this and that and it all has to do with P. Diddy and it's P. Diddy's fault. P. Diddy should look out for me. So, the only person left for him to tell on is P. Diddy. You feel me? The only person he could tell on and get away or get a deal or get off of this case because he already got granted immunity. So he could go to L.A., I mean Las Vegas and be like, look man, L.A., California already gave me immunity on this case. Um, I'll tell you who paid the hit if you give me immunity. And he could do the same thing. And, the, and, and they'll go after P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? And since P. Diddy hasn't been looking out for him, in his own words, he feels like P. Diddy owes him. Do you think Keefe D's going to snitch on P. Diddy? Because I think that boy might say something. I think that boy might say something. You know what I mean? I don't think he's going to go to jail and not say nothing and do all this time by himself over the big, over the Tupac case. You understand what I'm saying? So I honestly think he's going to say something, work a deal, get out, and try to take P. Diddy down. Because um, P. Diddy's the only one that's tied to this case still that hasn't been arrested, questioned, or nothing. But yet, the same time Keefe D been admitting to this whole stuff about passing the gun and this and that to his nephew and all that, he been saying that P. Diddy called him in there and had a meeting with him and was trying to get them boys hit. And he paid them X amount of money. He was supposed to pay uh, the dude and he didn't ever pay him the full amount of money. So that leaves P. Diddy in the spotlight now. Probably scared as hell right now because Keefe D is arrested right now. You know what I mean? For that. And he knows... The only thing, the only person that Keefe D could give up right now to get out of this whole situation is Puff Daddy. Beat me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. You think I'm right? You think I'm wrong? You think he's going to snitch on P. Diddy? And do you think P. Diddy's going to go to jail over the Tupac murder? It's your boy Zulu King Street Fan 407. Y'all know what it is. We all gas, no brakes. If you ain't going to be good, be safe, you heard?